the rights of young people to be a central part of a society. It needs to be passionate. It needs to understand the issues. Opinionated. It needs to care. Young people need to be loud and they need to make themselves heard. And if you have an issue, you need to shout about it from the rooftops because we have an issue with adults generally not listening to our voices. So we need to make our voices as loud as we possibly can. So we're a very rural community and it's really hard to get about. A number of young people have talked about how shortage of teachers in certain, in certain subjects was making it difficult for them to learn the things that they want to learn. I do believe that further focus has to be on Scotland's rural areas and smaller towns in relation to young people accessing sport and further play activities. The outdoors allows young people to explore, uh, learn about the world and most importantly learn about themselves. From my consultation, members said that outdoors builds confidence and friendships, uh, encourages them to take risks and improves their resilience. I think the biggest issue is Islamophobia um, young Muslims are experiencing across Scotland through the likes of media and social media. It is 2018 and no young person or child should be denied their rights to education and safety at school because of bullying, not knowing where the next punch or push will come from or the next cyber text or any other humiliation. Schools must do more to protect young people and children from bullying. In university classes, a friend of mine came up to me and he said, Rory, you know, um, my views often in lectures are being branded as big and phobic and that they're just being disregarded when it's just not fair. I am so thankful and so grateful for Scotland and its people who have provided me with access to a wide range of opportunities and helped me to start a new life here full of dignity and safety. By having financial support in addition to SAS, young carers would have more space to be enjoy the university years and excel in education. Everybody has the right to work and it's, it's important because there's a lot of unemployment out there. This legislation would mean Scotland would be a world leader in giving all citizens the right to access sanitary products. This issue should not be ignored, it is unhealthy and unsafe. I would like the Scottish Government to address with, with, with their legislation is to maybe make uh, accessibility on public services Ladies and gentlemen and ministers, is waiting for the train a crime? Is it a crime which justifies a punishment which is discriminatory in the way that it affects only young people, but indiscriminate in the way that it irritates all young people? I think it's a prime example of all young people being tarnished with the same brush. Of those I spoke to, more than 90% of young people have been held outside their shop, all of them before, during or after school. It's in also my constituency that Tesco's have been caught on multiple occasions forcing state school pupils to cure site, whilst private school pupils and members of the public could simply enter the shop. This is clear discrimination. In 2018, it is deeply concerning that students are not aware of their right to be heard through the punishment procedure in Scottish schools and that there is no real opportunity for those young people to be heard on this issue. According to the UN, there are seven EU member states that continue to permit violence inflicted onto children within the home. The UK is one of them. Young people are the ones who will be living with the consequences of climate change for the longest time. We need to take substantive action now for the sake of the next generation. And more often than not, it's young people who have the answers as to what we can do. Yes, we still have work to do. Urgent action is needed to improve political literacy among young people. If we don't address mental health with this generation, then my generation um, has to live with these issues for, for, for the rest of their lives. A lot of what can experience young people feel um, that affects them is discrimination um, whenever they try and tell people that they are experienced and what they've experienced through their childhood. Um, it's often laughed at or it's often not taken seriously. I think it's been a hugely successful day and I think that um, obviously so much credit can be given to our MSYPs but a lot of credit can also be given to the policy makers and decision makers who came along who were really really willing to engage and actually genuinely listen to the young people and what they were saying. Just be unafraid, speak up, say your piece and um, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs>